Hey guys, King Cade here and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to model a pretty simple hat on a blender. Let's get right into this. So first of all, what you want to do, just click shift A and add in a cylinder. I recommend doing all 32 vertices. You can increase it or decrease it depending on if you are going low poly or not. Click A to select everything, hold down shift and then select this top face right here so it deselects it. Then click X and then click delete faces. Also, whenever you are selecting the faces, make sure you click this little button right here so you can select the faces and not the vertices. And now what we are going to do is we're just going to move this downward just like this. And yeah, so now what we are going to do, go into edit mode, click S, X to scale on the X axis. And we are just going to scale it a little bit, not too much, S, X. And I would say a bow right there, kind of, kind of like a hat shape. And now what we are going to do is click the face, click I to inset. And then move it in a little bit, and this is going to be the center of the hat. So I would say about right there-ish. There we go. And now what we're going to do, click E to extrude it. Bring it up just a little bit. This kind of depends on how tall you want your hat to be. If you want it to be up there, you can put it up there. Or I am just going to do it right here. Click S to scale it inward just a little bit. And now what we're going to do, go to edge select. And then select these two edges, this one and this one. And then do the same for this other side, this one and this one. And now click this little button right up here. There we go. And now just move it up a little bit. You can use your scroll wheel to kind of change the area of this circle. But what we are just trying to do is we're just trying to move it up just a little bit. And yeah, about right there. So we're just trying to move up the size just a tiny bit. And yeah, about right there we'll do. Now what we are going to do, let's actually go ahead and apply the modifier. So click on this little wrench tab right here. Go to modifiers. Go down to subdivision surface. And it may look a little bit weird at first, but... Trust me, it will look a lot better later on. So now what we are going to do, click tab to go back into edit mode. Add a loop cut down here on the bottom. And then just right click to keep it in that same place. Add a loop cut in the middle. And this one we are just going to bring up, not all the way, but about right there. And then there we go. Now add another loop cut, so control R. And then bring it about down here. Not all the way down because we do kind of want that little little curve right there. Kind of depends on what hat you're trying to make. But right now, I think that little curve right there looks pretty good. So like this to turn off that thing right there. Now this next part also kind of depends on what hat you're making. But we are going to go into face select. We are going to select this top face right here. We are going to click I to inset. And we're just going to move it in a little bit. Maybe about right there. Now we're going to click E and then move it downward. And then maybe scale it down a little bit as well. And there we go. Now what we are also going to do is we're going to click control R and we're going to move that down as well so it makes the top look a little bit better and now what we are going to do is we are going to select this face right here these two edges and then these two back edges we're going to turn this thing back on and we are just going to move these down not a lot but just a little bit just a little bit so it adds kind of a little tilt there we go and now it will start to look better so now what we are going to do is we are going to select these two these actually four edges up here make sure this is still on we're going to click s wide scale on the y axis and we're just going to scale our circle up so it selects pretty much the whole hat and we're just going to scale it down a little bit so it adds a little bit point towards the front now what we are going to do we're going to right click go shade smooth to make it look a little bit better and we are going to go into edit mode and if it's a little bit long like this one it's a little bit long so we are going to select a to select everything we're going to click SX and we're just going to scale it down just a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to add a little bit more detail to the top up here. So we are going to go into face select. We're going to select these front four faces. Make sure this little thing up here is still on. And we are just going to move it downward just a little bit. It's fine if it selects the whole hat. It will kind of add a little tilt to the bottom. But if you just want to add a tilt to the top. You can just scroll that circle down and about right there is good kind of add a little bit of a curve actually let's go ahead and move that down just a little bit more and there we go that's looking pretty good let's actually select these faces right here and then move this bottom surface a little bit up and yeah somewhere around there yeah that is looking pretty good if we want to we can move this back face up a little bit and i'm not gonna do that for my hat but you can if you want to make like Kind of a goofy hat but yeah there we go that is looking pretty good and that is pretty much everything what we can also do we can add a little bit more detail such as we can scale this down on the y-axis a little bit more if we want to and there we go so i think that is looking pretty good for our hat if we want to make it solid since right now it is very thin we can just move this to the side you can do it on this one if you want to but i recommend just duplicating it move it to the side click shift d and let's go ahead and grab this copy of it click tab to go into edit mode click a to select everything and then click Alt-E, and we will extrude it along normals, 
and this next part also depends on what hat you're looking for if you're looking for kind of a big hat you can do it like and then it kind of looks like one of those really old hats but what we can also do we can click alt e and we can move it downward and then it's the exact same but it's just solid and there we go that's our hat let's move that to the side once again to just compare them so let's duplicate this click tab alt e to extrude them along normals and so if we move it up that is what it will look like right there and yeah that's the difference of moving it down and then moving it up depends on which kind of hat you are going for right there and yeah that's how you make a very simple hat on blender though so that's gonna be all for this video so make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i will see you all in the next video